What's up, guys? November 22nd. Uh, I believe it's 55 years. JFK was assassinated. It's Wednesday morning, right before Thanksgiving. I uh, wanted to, to discuss... What does it mean when a guardian or a judge or a therapist says that the kids will adapt? What does that mean? How do they know they're going to adapt? That's an issue with me. Because it's just like... This this default answer just to just to say that the kids are gonna be okay when they don't know. And when a father says that they believe based off of facts and evidence that the children aren't gonna, they're not gonna be okay because of X, Y, and Z they have the gall to ask, to tell you that you don't know the future. So my point is if they're able to predict the future by saying the kids are going to be okay and they're resilient and they're tough, they make all all these forward-looking statements, then the father has every right to make forward-looking statements without feeling like he's crazy. I think the courts need to stop marginalizing fathers. I think the guardians need to start doing their job. From my experience, it's not okay for a whole year. The guardian spent about 10 minutes with me and my children. That's unacceptable. But it seems like it's easy for them just to just give the children to the to the to the women to the mother and then sprinkle the dad in where they where they see you know where it fits that's unexpect that's unacceptable especially when children have a close relationship with the father just as much as the mother i believe the schedule should be based on the relationship before the divorce and you work to try to get that as close as possible the 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 mother could divorce the father but the mother can't and the courts can't divorce the children from the father. That's important. And we just have to care and we just have to show that we care. And I was told so many times not to let the judge know how much the kids love you, how much the kids adore you because you don't play it up to the judge. But you want to know what? I didn't say anything, but it doesn't get you anywhere. So why not say it? Because if you don't say it, they automatically think it. Because they automatically think it because that's how it's been. That's been the norm. It's, it's, it's the culture. That women usually get custody of the children. I believe in Connecticut it's about 80%. I know the number went up from 15% to 20 for men recently. I believe that's just in Connecticut. It might be worldwide, I don't know. But, that's it for today. Leave some uh, questions. I'll get back to you. Hopefully I can get a little office and I can do these videos. Um, We'll continue to fight. Alright guys, happy Thanksgiving.